Shot one, like give our honor glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Rakakodash. The abundance to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to you, sincere brothers. I'm Shakat. Banyonyon. Abaya. And just pretty much touching on that marching Nate was doing in Memphis last week. And uh, we also gonna get into about this Jake brought out information talking about it's actually undercover police or mercenaries actually killing Jake. But on the news, they saying that it's done by you know so-called gang members, which is that that's true as well. But we're gonna get into that a little bit more. Um, yeah, well, about Nate, man, the situation going on with there. He's marching for reasons that, if you read actually in the scriptures, there's gonna be so-called black on black crime or so-called black on brown crime. So it's no reason for him to be marching like that. We're supposed to go out there on the highways and byways, continue to proclaim the word of Yahweh Bashi and Shai, and wake up the elect. But about marching things and that such, that's things that you see niggas in the world do. That's you know? right. Because when, whenever it's not of the most high, it comes to not. And because you saw during the Civil Rights Movement, you saw during the Black Panther Movement, and all these different revolts and so-called revolutions when, when, when the tribes, who are the so-called Negroes, Latino, Latinos, and Native American Indians, when they rose up, and when it wasn't of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, they were put down very brutally, man. And so when you see so-called Israelites doing the things that that, 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 that were prehistorically done by men in the world, that's the first uh, uh, tale to behold that Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai is not dealing with them. Right. By that priest, if I had one. You got, you, Since you mentioned it. Go ahead, go ahead. At this uh, Acts 5 and 38. And now I say unto you, refrain from these men and let them alone. And let them alone. And because the Heavenly Father is showing you a very vividly. And because there's nothing, there's nothing uh, 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 that serves a purpose of unity right there. And because the curses that are befalling our people and what you're marching against, you're basically rooting for the two-thirds. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And it says, for if this counsel or this work be of men, it will come to naught. But if it be of the most high, you cannot overthrow it, lest happily you be found even to fight against them. And that's what IUIC is doing. They're fighting against Yahweh Bashim and Yahweh Shah. Whether you want to believe it or not, or whether you want to admit it or not, th those are facts, okay? And because when you put your face, the Israelite face, as, as, as a protector of the human race, or protector of evildoers, different things of that nature, then Yahweh Bashim and Yahweh Shah truly is not with you, man. You know? I kind of appreciate Go ahead, that. Not. Hey, this is um, Isaiah 9 and 16. For the leaders of this people cause them to err, yep. and they that are led of them are destroyed. Yep, cause uh, it causes them to err, walking the wrong way because by marching things that's uh, we saw years after years before we was even born that they didn't do nothing for our people, you know. Yep. So how is it gonna change nowadays, man? That's a remix doctrine. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That's a remix doctrine because that's not in the scriptures. The only marching that we've done historically was when we marched. Around you know, hey, hey, we marched around Jericho and ultimately when we got out of Egypt, man, you know, oh. hey, because we marched out of that place hey, with the goodly things of the Egyptians. We spoiled the Egyptians we, hey, before we left, That's right. you know, we didn't march in, in the land of our oppressors looking for equality. Mm -hmm. We didn't march in the land of our oppressors saying, thou shalt not kill, love thy neighbor, mm -hmm. love thy brothers, thyself, this, that, and the third. You're still in the land of your captivity, man. Right. Even... Even the permits and the permission that you had to acquire, you acquired it from the so-called white man. Mm -hmm. He permitted you to, to, to even to even take such an act, man. Go ahead. You know what? I'm going to start. I'm going to jump up to 14. Therefore, Yahweh will cut off from Israel head and tail, branch and rush in one day. The ancient and honorable, he is the head and the prophet that teacheth lies, he is the tale. Yep. And the prophet that teacheth a, a teacheth lies in the Most High's name is going to be destroyed, man. That's right. You know. And you got this individual calling upon God in Christ, man. That's right. Mm -hmm. So that you know, so that's further a further proves whom the Lord is not dealing with. And it's not anything to just like, oh man, y'all just hate IUIC. Y'all just hate the bishop. Different things of that nature. No. We just speak up uprightly when it concerns the truth. That's right. There's no favoritism and there's no respect to person in this truth, man. Right. Hey, because we. More of our own so-called fellow brethren who are associated with us in Great Millstone and get cast away and, and get discarded more than uh, these so-called other Israelite camps, man. That's right. So there's no discrimi uh, discrimination. Hey, this is Isaiah 30 and 1. Woe to the rebellious yeah. children, said Yahweh, that take counsel, but not of me, and that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit, 
that they may add sin to sin, that walk to go down into Egypt and have not asked at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. It's not the most high spirit be walking and marching, you know, trying to uh, get rights for so-called black people, man. Yep. Like you uh, watch the interview, he said, uh, not just try to quote all his words, but he mentioned just black people. Mm -hmm. He didn't say nothing about the so-called, you know, Hispanics sure. or Latinos, man. So what about them as well? They're getting gunned down. Yeah. You know? I'm gonna skip to eight. Now, now go write it before them in a table and note it in a book that it may be for time to come forever and ever that this is a rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law of Yahweh, which say to the seers, see not, and to the prophets, prophesy not unto us, write things, speak unto us, smooth things, prophesy deceits. And the reason why I brought that out was basically the spirit because even Nate's congregation, when you co uh, correct him through the scriptures, his congregation, instead of listening to the word of Yahweh by Shem Shai, they listen to Nate. Hey, because Nate is the image. Mm -hmm. Hey, Nate is, <laughs> is the Lord. Yep. They're not looking for Yahweh Shai to come back. Right. They don't even respect you, how shall nothing call him by his true name. Right. You know? And so whom they respect upon planet Earth is that individual, man. Yeah. And Nate is glorified as a god, man. Mm -hmm. And Nate has accumulated a lot of funds by leading those sheep astray. Yeah. That's right. And it is what it is because the scriptures say that the blind leadeth the blind. That's right. And they both should fall into the ditch. So those that are being taken by that wind of doctrine, you were just taken to be destroyed ultimately. And that's a scary thing, as we always talk about, man, hey, because there are two sides to the coin. Those that are, have the face to be uh, are saved and those that have that, uh, that tail, you know, you got heads and tails, those that have that tail to be destroyed. Mm -hmm. What's so crazy about it, you might have sincere brothers, you know what I'm saying, in that, yeah. in that group that sincerely believe that they're doing right, man. Mm -hmm. And they're going to come out yeah, of it, ultimately. Yeah, Albert Rock is out. Most yep. are going to uh, wake them up, man. Yep, yep. I had a precept for you. Okay, Amos chapter 3, verse 6. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Yeah. Shall there be evil in a city and the Lord have not done it? Yeah, mm -hmm. so you read that Deuteronomy 28, 15 on down, you will see it's supposed to be evil, man. We pretty much live in Deuteronomy 28, 15 on down, man. Yep, yep. You don't see, go ahead. Now, you know, now I was to say, mm -hmm. hey, because, because. What, what was IUI saying? IUIC saying, stop the violence, yeah. black man, yeah. stop the violence, this and the third. The scriptures also say that that wife shall be a harlot in the city. Yeah. So what are you gonna do now? He's gonna go to the to the strip clubs. Yeah. He's gonna go to Backpage and start and start knocking on these harlot's doors. Exactly. You know, he's, he's gonna start marching for that. You know, you can't be one way. Cover all spectrums, man. That's right. Hey, because, hey, you how about Shim how? Hey, you how about Shim how Shai is dealing with a, a particular group? A particular amount of individuals upon planet Earth, man. Right. Hey, Lord, will you just pray continuously that it, that is you? Because we're just gonna continue to bring out the facts. We're gonna continue to prophesy, and we're gonna, yeah, Lord, will ultimately endure until the end through the Spirit and power. How about Shimon Howard Shai putting that Spirit upon and, and within us, man? Right, man. Second Corinthians ten and four: For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through the Most High to the pulling down of strongholds. Yep. We pulling this place down spiritually, man. That's right. So I says Isaiah 24 chapter. I'm gonna say the 10th verse. I says, uh, "The see the confusion is broken down." That's right. And one of the aspects of that is on the spiritual, you know, aspect, man, because we breaking <clears throat> down by exposing Esau who he really is, man. That's right. And letting these other nation who they really are, and then yep. the two thirds of our people, you know, if they don't get right, they are gonna die. Right. Yeah. You know? and, and marching is carnal, man. Yeah. I mean, even going back to MLK days, man, marching never got. Uh, yeah, never got our people anywhere in society, man. Okay, and then and, and Esau teaches you, you know, what I'm saying just by rule of thumb, if you look at his history, how did he collect the world? We know that the Most High ordained that, but at the same time frame, he used the sword. Right. He wasn't marching, you know, um, you know, un until the world came mm -hmm. into his hands. Yeah. No, he utilized the sword. That's why the scriptures say that the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom. That's man. right. Hey, because it's not going to be through marching. It's not going to be through protocols. It's not going to be through councils and meetings, mm -hmm. you know. Oh, let's come to a, a mutual agreement here. That's not going to be the case, man. And that's how we're going to, through the spirit beginning with Yahweh Shah, reclaim the kingdom through the acts of violence, man. Right. Because, hey, when Yahweh Shah returns, hey, he's going to have a violent behavior, man. Hey, because, hey, the, the, the Father has already promised him what? The kingdoms of the world, that's man. Right. So all nations are going to be underneath his feet. Yep. And, 
And that's just, you know what I'm saying, that, that's just facts, man. You know, yeah. people think, oh my God, you're a terrorist. Oh, are you really gonna take the white man down? This thing's in the, this and the third. But when you see Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, crack them clouds, and you got the, the holy host of angels with them, mm -hmm. you know, you, you're gonna be singing a different tone in that day, man. Right, man. Hey, because the scriptures say that men's hearts shall be failing for fear. So a lot of things are going to be transpiring, man. Hey, and to prove your point, this is Revelation a 2 and 26. And he that overcome it and keep it my works until the end to him will I give power over the nations. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron as the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers even as I receive of my father. So that's letting you know that the most high we're gonna do that through the spirit. Through the spirit of Yahweh Shah, we're gonna do that through the at the war, man. Cause the most high he's a man of war. And Yahweh Shah said he's just like his father. Right. And you have the ambassadors of Yahweh Shah, they're gonna follow uh in suit of Yahweh Shah. Right. So you know it's gonna be all in the same uh mind as man. That's why the scripture say was in the book of Exodus, it said the Lord is a man, man of war. war. Yahweh is his name. Mm -hmm. He say that he's a man of marching or something like that, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Uh, I got one. This is Baruch 3 and 8. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity, where thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse, and to be subject to payments according to all the iniquities of our fathers. That's why the scriptures say, Blessed a, a blessed with the man shall hate you, man, because you speak up rightly. Hey, because the scriptures, the scriptures clearly say that we were placed here for a reproach, man. Yeah. But now you're the face. Now, now you're on national news, you're on a local uh, a TV station, you know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, I, I spread in love and cheer. Right. Black man, love your black man. They love your black brother, your black mother. Right. Go ahead. And it says, um, so yeah, that's pretty much like he trying to tell the Most High to stop the curses. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like this, this the Most High's move first and foremost, man. Yeah, yeah. Back the truck up. And it says, according to all the iniquities of our fathers, which departed from the Lord our power. Mm -hmm. Here is Israel, the commandments of life give ear to understand wisdom. Mm -hmm. The true wisdom is waiting. It says in Lamentations third, cha uh, third chapter, uh, blesses he that hope and quietly wait for the salvation of the Lord, man. Mm -hmm. It's not about marching or anything like that. We can't do these things in our own hands. Look at the ones of our people that tried to do that. You see, they got shut down, man. Yep. Yep. This is Exodus 15 and 3. Yahweh is a man of war. Yahweh is his name. That's right. So we, uh, like we just brought up, man. If we follow us up, Yahweh Shai, we're going to be uh, men of war as well. Okay? Mm -hmm. Right. You got any more on that? I'm going to switch over. Because they're going to transition. Yeah. Okay. All right. And uh, another topic we uh we brought out, you know, how it's going over to Chicago, so-called violence over there, you know. And, of course, you got Jake killing each other. But the way they put it on the media, you know, that's one of Esau's uh, tactics right there, one of his snares. You, know, you got you to gotta look at it behind closed doors that he's actually doing things on his own agenda, pretty much. Mm -hmm. And he pretty much bringing it out to the public that, this is so-called black people, you know, they killing each other. But you actually read or find different articles or different videos on YouTube, you will see that it's undercover police and mercenaries that's actually killing Jake and they blaming it on so-called gang members, you know? Yeah. Yeah, other Israelites. Mm -hmm. And it's not far-fetched because they showed you that in the purge. If you watch the, the latest purge, you know, you had a certain Jake in that movie that did not want to, you know, kill each other. Mm -hmm. So what did Esau do? to um, intensify everything, to increase the murder count, he sent in mercenaries, man. Right. So that, and, and what does he do? He shows you what he's doing via his movies. Right. So he throws the rock and hides his hand. Mm -hmm. And he leaves you to choose it between, uh, 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 to, to basically in, innocent people who had nothing to do with yeah. it. That's right. So Just, now you at odds. Mm -hmm. That's right. Just like another account, I don't know if you've seen it, Elder, but uh, Chicago, how they left a truck that yeah, had with the sneakers in it. with the sneakers in there. And then as soon as Jake started getting, what, what would you say, um, well, have inquiries about it, and they just jump out and arrest Jake, man. Mm -hmm. Like, you dig the hole for Jake to walk in, yeah. and so you can just automatically put the dirt over the hole. Yeah, you man. can't go to the projects and have 70 80 90 $100 shoes out there expecting somebody not to, to, yeah. to inquire about that, man. Right, right. That's just, hey, you know, so that's, hey, man, get out of here, man. Mm -hmm. You know, but, hey. But that goes into what you brought out earlier, how Esau set them snares and them traps, man. Yeah. And he's doing that in Chicago and and a lot of other metropolitan cities, man. Hey, because those officers, undercover officers, mercenaries, different uh uh what you call uh militias. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, like a company that you that you hire, contractors. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know they got different contracts out there to. 
to do to do their bidding underneath the radar. That's right. That's why they get away with a lot of this stuff, man. Yeah, girl, I was uh, reading the comments on that particular video that Jake, you know, they were saying they doing the same thing in New Orleans as well. So, you know, it's not far-fetched, man. Yeah. I got a pre for you, bro. Okay. And this is 2 Corinthians 3 and 11. It's a lock 2 Corinthians 2 and 11. Least Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Yeah, he's getting advantage over majority of our people because they actually think that it's just nothing but Jake just killing each other. They, you know, they have no type of clue in their mind. Like, or maybe it's something going on, but you know, besides this, man. Mm -hmm. Maybe it might be mercenaries or undercover police doing some shit like this. But they all think that it's just Jake that's killing each other, you know? Yeah. And, um, you got any more on that? Yes, that's stigma. I got mm -hmm. another one, though. Okay. Because another point, you know, I know oh, this. Uh, you remember that show, Bait Car? Yeah. Something like that? Oh, yeah. 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 You know, they always try to set up and just have Jake, you know, they know Jake. It's pretty much is uh vulnerable and things of that such. Mm -hmm. They know they're gonna go in that um vehicle and try to steal or try to steal the items out of the car, or try to steal the car in its total. You right, know? right. But I got a quick one. This is uh, Habakkuk 2 and 15. Woe to him that give his neighbor drink that put his that bottle to him and makes him drunken also. Yeah, and that's what Esau does, like mainly through his philosophies. Mm -hmm. You know, he he gives you your way of life through his indoctrinations, all right? Yeah. And then now what is he doing? He even takes it to a physical level. Yeah. You know, he'll park a truck right there in the hood so people can break into it. Mm -hmm. And then he'll wait so he can capture them and haul them off the jail, man. Yeah. You know, like on the train tracks, they'll have like carts, you know, they have like a whole bunch of guns in there, you know? Mm -hmm. And leave for Jake to go ahead and get. Cause you, had, you, actually, um, you actually had Jake come out and say that. Yeah. Like, you know, um, they got their guns from uh, police leaving uh, carts and train, a uh, carts on a railroad track full of guns, you know? Right. And if you watch that movie, Men's to Society, remember how um, Kane and uh, Sharif, they got jumped on? Mm hmm And they got whipped by the police, and the police, instead of taking them to the uh, police station, they took them to the so-called Mexican neighborhood. That's right. Thinking uh, Ishikar was going to finish them off. Yeah. But Ishikar actually helped them out, man. Yeah. So out of all neighborhoods, why would they take them to a so-called Mexican neighborhood. That's right. Then you know that uh, we are part of the same tribes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they'll drop you. They'll drop your black ass off up in his hood. Yeah, exactly. He's not dropping you off in a gated mm -hmm. community. He's not dropping you off in uptown or the north side of town. Right. He ain't taking you there. Mm -hmm. You know, baby, because he's taking you to your fellow brethren to the other tribes mm -hmm. and for your hurting for your harm, man. Right. That's right. Because he understand that that hatred we have amongst each other, man, exactly. and that's why he did that. Mm. All right, I got one. Hey, this is um, Psalms 64, and I'll get to the point, and 8. So they shall make their own, you know what? I'll start at 7. But the Most High shall sorry, shoot. Five, five, I'm sorry, 5. Yeah. Psalm 64 and 5. They encourage themselves in an evil matter. They commune of laying snares privily. They say, who shall see them? Yep. And they let see you, man. Because the light is on. Yeah, how shall us men to see that shit, man? We yeah. see straight through that bullshit, man. Mm -hmm. They search out iniquities. They accomplish a diligent search yeah pursuing the uh psalm 83 chapter man how it says um let me just quote it i'm gonna misquote it wrong pretty much saying how uh, let us cut them off from being a nation man yeah. all these different tactics to try to keep jake down and try to pretty much uh have jake extinct you know right right because we we are you know all the tribes make up the nation of israel mm -hmm. so as long as esau is implementing like division we we'll always be a nation broken right you know that's why everything begins with Yahweh Shai, and then it trickles down to the elect man because through the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Al Shai, you know, uh, that nation, beginning with the elect, is coming back together. God. Now that, that that body can move in, in one manner. Yeah, it's, it, it's, it's being rebuilt and restored mm -hmm. as in the days of old. That's right, that's right. All right I'm going to finish it. Um, search. You know what? Let me start back at uh, six. They search out iniquities. They accomplish a diligent search. Both the inward thought of every one of them and the heart is deep. But the Most High shall shoot at them with an arrow. Suddenly shall they be wounded. So they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. All that see them shall flee away. That's right. Their own tongue falling upon themselves. You know, the so-called whistleblowers, yeah. you know. They're pretty much exposing each other. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the house divided. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. And that's why it says in what Micah, the, uh, the second chapter, first verse, woe to them that devise iniquity and uh, work evil upon their beds, mm -hmm. man. So it's going to be death too. That's right. That's right. Because right. them curses got to come back on you as well, man. All right. Um, I'll give you last. This um, 
Revelation 12 and 10. And it says, And I heard a loud voice saying, In heaven, now has come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our power and the power of his Mashiach. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down. That's what he does. You know, he has actually warlocks and witches. And what they do is they pray to Yahweh Bashem Asha on the left hand side, yeah. saying, Look at look at what they're doing. Yeah. You know? And you know, just look at it from another physical standpoint, you know how they'll sit uh like in these grocery stores they have like pork mm -hmm. at a yeah. low price, man. Mm -hmm. You know, that's pretty much like um being accused of our brother, man. Like, look at your people eating yeah, yeah. abundable foods. You man. get 10 pounds of pork for yeah. 175. Yeah. But they know Jake came for it, you know, such meats like lamb yeah. or yep. bison, something like yeah, that. Yeah, right. So right. they set it up with pork and shit like yeah. that. Yeah. Or they add, like, you know, even with the Skittles, you know, MMs, mm -hmm. they add gelatin. That's that's, right. that's pork as well. But then you go back to the Most High and state, well, they eating pork, mm -hmm. but you're not telling the Most High, which he already knows, yeah. but you're not declaring to yourself, all right, I'm the reason why they're doing yeah. this. Yeah, he already said that our food's gonna be defiled. Mm -hmm. You know, we're gonna eat uh, our bread defiled amongst the Gentiles. That's right. You know? yeah. That's right. And it says, for the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our power day and night. That goes to show you that he has like warlocks and witches, man. Yeah. And we're not talking about your uh, average Joe six pack. Right. We're talking about the elite. Right, right. Men yeah, yeah. of understanding and wickedness. Yeah, when you're talking about the Edomites, your, your average Edomite to walk around the mall with a Baphomet t shirt on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hey, we with, hey, we deal with powers that you would not believe. <laughs> what kids you know? on the back of the team. Yeah, that's why I said I, uh, the uh, what did I say the the weapons out about warfare, warfare not mm -hmm. carnal. are not carnal. That's right. You know, but hey, because we battle against those spiritual things, those spiritual principalities. Mm -hmm. So in order to the battle against something that you can't physically see mm -hmm. and something that's actually spiritual, mm -hmm. you have to battle battle it with the spirit. That's right. With the right hand spirit, man. That's right. It's you got to battle that left hand. hand spirit with the right hand. What you say, bro? As, like you said, it's right versus love. Mm -hmm. Right hand versus love. That's hand. right. Can. Yeah. All right. Hey, with that, man, you know, hope you all were edified through the spirit of power. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Let's give honor and glory again to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Bashem Rakakwadash. Double honors again to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all you sincere argument. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.